because my pleas for a modest accommodation have been refused or not acted upon, I have been required to do that which my conscience forbids. As a result, I have spent six days in jail because I could not abandon my faith. I thank the Lord that Judge Benning released me from jail last Tuesday, but today as I return to work, my simple request for an accommodation has gone unheard. Whether I personally issue the license or whether one of my deputy issues it, the result is the same. The license is issued under the authority of Kim Davis, County Clerk of Round County. And so I'm here before you this morning with a seemingly impossible choice that I do not wish on any of my fellow Americans, my conscience or my freedom. My conscience or my ability to serve the people that I love, obey God, or a directive that forces me to disobey God even when there are reasonable accommodations available. I have thought and prayed very hard about what to do. The decisions I have made in this case and the decisions I will continue to make in this case are mine and mine alone. I don't want to have this conflict. I don't want to be in the spotlight and I certainly don't want to be a whipping post. I am no hero. I'm just a person who's been transformed by the grace of God and who wants to work, be with my family. I just want to serve my neighbors quietly without violating my conscience. However, any unauthorized license that they issue will not have my name, my title, or my authority on it. Instead, the license will state that they are issued pursuant to a federal court order. Judge Benning indicated last week that he was willing to accept altered marriage license even though he was not certain of their validity. I too have grave doubts whether the license issued under these conditions are even valid. This is why once again I urge Governor Bashir, the legislature, and the court to intervene. They have the authorization and the authority to provide these types of accommodations and there's no reason why they cannot do so. Are we not a big enough, a loving enough, and a tolerant enough state to find a way to accommodate my deeply held religious convictions?